about one month ago, actually a little over a month ago, uh, I did a video in which I talked about a thread that was made public in which a trans person came out with a story. A story about being contacted to participate in a documentary about transitioning. The documentary and the email reaching out to this person was blatantly framing it as though this would be a pro-trans documentary and that this would be a documentary meant to, um, you know, sort of empower trans people, etc., etc. Um, however, this person in question was a little bit suspicious. A little bit suspicious about this. And decided to do a little bit of research into the agent that reached out to them and found out that this agent works for Matt Walsh. And upon further review, found out that this that Matt Walsh was working on a documentary, and that this documentary would, as you can imagine, be part of Matt Walsh's, and I quote, year of fighting gender ideology, and that Matt Walsh was essentially trying to do a sting op on trans people to trick them into coming to his studio or into letting him visit for a documentary that would be deceptively edited, no doubt, into being as negative towards uh, trans people as possible. So I made this video a little while back. For those of you guys that don't know, Matt Walsh is a conservative uh, political pundit. He works with Ben Shapiro, um, very large YouTuber. Um, anyway, this video got some decent viewership. You know, a lot of people saw it and, you know, it, it, it's heard about. However, it's now been a month and Matt Walsh has put out the trailer for this documentary. Official teaser, what is a woman? 1.1 million views in just a few days for this trailer. Um, and uh, all overwhelming positivity in the comments and in the likes and everything. As I said, guys, we are going back to 2014 and 2016. We're going back to Gamergate. The right is going to continue to gain in power. Stuff like this is going to continue to get more and more views, more and more popularity, especially as we see people who are incapable of uh, properly representing the left get more and more popular among the left. Um, not going to name any names, but <clears throat> it is a problem, and I think it's going to contribute to the left getting progressively and progressively weaker as the right dominates more and more culturally over the next few years. Um, so yeah, overwhelmingly positive response to this, a documentary, it has already been exposed to be a, like, a, a sting, like, like, an actual hit piece that he's lying to people and trying to trick them under false pretenses into participating in, it is already public knowledge, and yet this documentary is going to be received with massive amounts of praise. I have traveled all over the world for the past year asking one simple question. What is a woman? What is a woman? What is it? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> People are laughing, is that, is that a dumb question? <laughs> I've been asking everybody this and almost nobody can answer it. What is a woman? What is a woman? That's a great question. If one person could tell me what a woman is, Congressman, thank you for, for being here. I think this interview is over. Let's turn off the cameras. I just wanted to know what is a woman. And you're not going to find out. It's not a complicated question. So, uh, yeah. Uh, as you can see, this documentary is going to... Um, I like how the ending of it, like they set it up like it's the right-wing version of Borat. Two, you guys remember Borat Two, where they um, with uh, with Rudy Giuliani, at the end. I feel like that's what they were trying to go for there. What I'm going to guess is this, this guy was probably like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And then said, "Okay, this interview's over," and got up and left. And it, he's probably gonna like edit scary music or dramatic music over it, like he did in the trailer. Fuck! I almost want to watch it now to see how bad it is. Do you think it's going to be, like, publicly available on YouTube, or do you think it's going to be, like, a thing you have to buy? By the way, I should say, this is a guy who is actively going out of his way to harass trans... Like, he harasses and bullies random, like, trans children and stuff on his platform. He's actively going out of his way to, um, to like, trick people uh, under false pretenses to meet with him uh, for this, like, anti-trans documentary that he's making that he was exposed for on Twitter. Um, 
this guy, the fact that he's still on YouTube should go to show that there is no anti-right-wing censorship fucking agenda out there. The fact that any of these Daily Wire guys still have a YouTube channel should be a testament to that. Can't wait for this documentary to get mass reported by YouTube and taken down altogether with the Daily Wire. I highly doubt it. No, th th these guys make YouTube way too much money. I don't know. I don't see that happening. Like, YouTube typically only bans the really big, uh, like, alt-right figures when they're in their, like, uh, down, like, when they're dying out, you know? Like, Stefan Molyneux, when he got banned, that would have been a big deal three years before he got banned. Stefan Molyneux was pulling 20k views a video when he got banned, okay? They waited until Stefan Molyneux was basically a, a irrelevant, washed-up nobody before they finally banned him, okay? YouTube wants to milk as much money as they can out of these fucking money machines that are these conservative right-wing propaganda channels, they are able to, it's like a printing machine for money, and the only way they're going to ban these channels is unless the amount of backlash they get for platforming them outweighs the amount of profit they get from hosting them, or if uh, these people just stop making them enough money for it to be worth it anymore, and for it to be, you know, for them to not have that protection that uh, other channels don't have. Twitch stream kind of popping off. I mean, the YouTube stream died for a minute, so of course it did. Everyone went over to YouTube. Uh, Matt Walsh is already on YouTube and being transphobic uh, all day, every day. If uh, YouTube were to take down his documentary, he would be on YouTube. He wouldn't be on YouTube in the first place. I think it really does have to do with whether or not enough attention has been brought to it. If this documentary does get enough attention and it is bad enough, then it could potentially be the nail in the coffin for his channel. But the fact that Steven Crowder and all these large channels that break TOS every day are still around should go to show exactly like where YouTube's priorities are. It's money. Um, even Twitter has come out and said that they give uh, special privileges to particularly right-wing pundits and um, right-wing politicians, because if they applied the rules as equally to those right-wing figures as they do to everybody else, like the TOS when it comes to no hate speech, yada yada, there would be no right-wing like public figures on those platforms because the modern-day Republican party line is like hate speech now. Like they they have devolved into like LGBT people are degenerate pedophiles and trans people are degenerate pedophiles and uh and and, and like that the the black community is our crime are predisposed to crime and, and then crime stuff like the modern day Republican position. Oh yeah. Jewish space lasers, stuff like that. Like the modern day general, like Republican politician kind of shit you're hearing from them now is, is just Nazi talking points from three years ago. Like the kind of stuff that like our Republican politicians are saying now, the kind of stuff Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying now are what dumb fucks in the internet were saying back in Gamergate. They just finally caught up with the Gamergate. Welcome to points. capitalism, my dude. Nat and Christian, thanks for the $5. Does Matt Walsh self-identify as a theocratic fascist? I mean, yeah, of course he does. Yeah, I mean, he, he's a Nazi. He's, been, he's open about this. He's not apologetic about his hatred for minorities. He's very open about it. Yeah, he does. Thir yeah, Matt Walsh has done the 1350 stuff. Ben Shapiro has gone on a long rant about how Palestinians live in sewage and eat their own shit. Like, <laughs> what do you, uh, what do you, uh, what are you surprised or something that the pe that the fine folks over at the Daily Wire might be uh might be horrible people? Oh, I could never I could never imagine I could never imagine such a thing. How could you? How could you suggest? How could you suggest the majority of Republicans are liberals, but they're not opposed to Nazi Nazism Nazism? No, fuchsia canid. That's not true. The majority of Republicans are liberal in the sense like the the philosophical sense like the great like the enlightenment liberalism sense but in the political ideology sense republicans are not liberals if you think that republicans and democrats are the same thing then you're you're too brain you're too internet poisoned you're too internet poisoned okay as far as american politics goes the Democrats and the Republicans are diametrically opposed to each other, and anybody saying otherwise is deranged, okay? Even Kristen Cinema is pre is preferable, or Joe Manchin or Kristen Cinema are preferable to the work to the best Republicans, okay? Anybody who pretends like like Bernie Sanders would be like a, a, a like a conservative or like a moderate in in Europe or whatever, like that kind of stuff, that's internet poison. It's not true. Those are those are just 
quippy little talking points that sound nice, but they just don't, they don't hold up to scrutiny. Could you actually defend that point? Like, how many of you have said Bernie Sanders would be considered moderate in insert European country? But if someone asked, which, uh, how do you know that? Prove it. Like, how many of you could prove it? Who've said that? Probably not many. Probably not many. Because it's not true. Bernie Sanders is a socialist. Socialism is radical even in any European country, okay? Yeah, I mean, the most comparable person to Bernie Sanders in Europe, I'd say, would be, like, Corbyn, right? Like, in, in the UK, you could say, like, Corbyn. And Corbyn, like, had, for one, has some really cringy takes, uh, especially recently with the Ukraine stuff. But outside of that, before that, got, like, literally ritualistically fucked by the Labour Party. Thank you for saying this, Sander Hall. It needed to be said. Yeah, there are way too many terminally online people who've heard, like, certain sayings and phrases over and over again, so they repeat it because they've heard people they think are smart say it, but then, like, they don't know what it means. They just say it because they know somebody who they think is smart said it. Uh, very common. Very common. The right does it, too, of course, but, I mean, we, I, I hold us to higher, higher, uh, higher standards, you know? Anyway, with that said... I love you all so much for watching. Thank you so much. Have a good one.